we're going to do some cooking with blank. So, the first Watch step in making your perfect netherite piece of gear is first to enchant your own luxurious set of diamond gear. So, as you can see here, I've already pre-made these mud stompers. They're a delectable piece of equipment that inflicts a random monster with slowness upon taking damage. They're only $9.99 uh, per day for the next 365 days. Um, after that, we're going to go ahead and we've got to make some netherite to basically put on these delicious boots. So here we go. First, we're going to need a crafting table. So I'm going to go ahead and put one of those down. We're going to enter in here and we're going to make a couple furnaces. Now these furnaces are very, very crucial. They're going to help us cook our ingredients. So you want plenty of space here to make sure the furnaces feel welcomed. So you can go ahead and put those down right there. Now furnaces, they don't like to be next to each other. They like to be in pairs. Uh, because otherwise they get jealous of the other furnaces. So this way you, you kind of force them to, they can only be in a relationship with this one person. So they have to be content. Um, they're very fickle creatures. So now we're going to go ahead and grab this ancient debris. We've got a little bit of it. Uh, we can also grab our older netherite scraps. But for the sake of uh, demonstration, I'm just going to use this ancient debris right here that's uncooked. Because when you guys harvest your ancient debris from uh, the mines, it's, it's not going to be quite as prepared. We're going to go ahead and split this up evenly, because otherwise the furnaces might complain that you're not treating them equally. And we all believe in equity here at um, Link Incorporated, um, except when it's inconvenient to us, obviously. Um, <laughs> and we're just going to wait as the other debris smelts. Now, you don't want to look at the furnaces, because they might feel shy. So if you just use F5 mode, they don't know that you're looking at them but you can still keep a close eye on them, you know? That way, in case they act up, you can go ahead, give them a little bit of a slap, and uh, they, they should produce. You see, it's already done. Look at that. All it took was a little bit of encouragement from us. So we've got our other debris scraps. We've got our gold ingots. You can grab gold ingots just by bartering or, you know, by stealing it from someone. Uh, we don't condone stealing here, but it, it happens, you know, it is what it is. We're gonna go in the crafting menu um, and I have no idea how to craft this, so I always just use the recipe book right here. It makes your life easier. Boom. We got our netherite ingots. So netherite ingots are basically the main supply in creating your delicious netherite tool. So you're going to go ahead and grab your handy smithing table. You should have gotten one for your birthday. My parents always gave me one on my birthday, just in case I broke my old one. I'm going to go ahead, combine these two, and voila, you have your piece of netherite gear. Thank you all for tuning in to Cooking with Link. Until next time, don't forget to contribute and have the most of your day.